Hey, I'm Ben Marriott. I'm a motion designer. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at using effects to enhance your footage all inside Premiere Pro. Now effects can do a lot of things. They can be used to enhance or change the look of your footage to create a different mood. They can be used to reframe your shot entirely to bring attention to something else in the scene. Or you can just go all out and add wild elements to your footage and much, much more. In Premiere Pro, there are different ways to apply effects to your footage. We're going to use the built-in effects and additional effects too. We have a few clips in our timeline here, and we are in the effects workspace. You can change your workspace by clicking on any of them up here, and that will reveal the windows that are most useful for that part of your workflow. So in the effect workspace, we have effect controls up in our top left. And when we select a clip, we can see that it has built-in effects already. And we have three groups of effects available, motion, opacity, and time remapping. In motion, we can adjust a clip's position by clicking and dragging across these blue numbers. The first number here is the x-axis, and the second one is the y-axis. Or you can change these by clicking on that number and typing in a value and hitting enter. We can also adjust our clip scale. We can rotate it. And if we select the whole motion group up here, that adds a bounding box around our clip and we can adjust all of those properties in our program monitor, like the free transform tool you might use in other Creative Cloud applications. Now this center crosshair is our anchor point, and that determines the center of our clip for when we want to adjust properties like scale and rotation. And we can adjust the anchor point position down here. And if we make an adjustment and we don't like it, we can simply click on any of these arrow icons up here, which reset the parameter back to the default value. Or we can click on the one next to the motion effect at the top, and that resets everything within the motion effect. To add additional effects, we can find them in our effects panel, which in the effects workspace is over here on the right. If we open up video effects by double clicking on it or clicking this arrow here, we can see we have more subfolders inside with effects organized into categories. We have audio effects too, which we can apply to audio files and presets, which contain common effects or multiple effects with preset values to make applying frequently used combinations of effects faster. You can also create new folders by clicking this folder icon and drag effects into there to create your own categories, which is what I've done here with my favorites folder. You can also search for an effect up here in the search bar. This is very handy. To an apply an effect, we simply find the effect we want. Let's choose Gaussian blur and drag that onto the clip we want in the timeline. Or if you have that clip already selected, you can double click on it and it will apply that effect. And then it appears over here in the effects control panel with its parameters. Different effects will have different parameters. Here, let's increase the blurriness from zero to maybe 50 and select repeat edge pixels so we don't get that vignette at the edge of our clip. And we can also turn off an effect without deleting it. Clicking this FX icon over here will toggle the effect on and off. This is very useful for comparing the original clip to the clip with effects quickly. If we want to use this effect on another clip, we can copy it with Control or Command C, select another clip and paste it with Control or Command V. But there is an easier way to apply effects across multiple clips, and that is with an adjustment layer. So let's toggle off those blur effects from those two clips. And down in our project window, let's select this new item icon and choose adjustment layer and click OK. Then let's drag that over into our timeline onto a new video track and let's extend that so it covers our first two clips. And we can drag Gaussian Blur onto that adjustment layer, increase the blurriness just a little bit this time. And now we'll apply that effect to anything underneath this adjustment layer. So now we have a slight blurriness over our first and second clip. And if we wanted to extend that onto our third clip, we can simply drag our adjustment layer across there too. This is really convenient because now we only need to adjust the parameters in one place if we want to make changes. Now, if we find ourselves using a combination of effects a lot, we can save it as a preset to save ourselves time later. So let's apply the tint effect by searching for it and double clicking. Now this turns our footage grayscale. Let's increase the blur a bit more. And maybe we use blurred black and white footage an awful lot in our workflow because maybe we want to have a dramatic background while we show statistics on top of it. If that's the case, we can go over to our effects control panel, select the effects we want to make into a preset. In this case, it's Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to hold control or command and select the other effects we want to use. So let's select tint. And now let's right click anywhere on those two effects and choose save preset. And let's call that blurred grayscale and hit OK. Now, if we clear our search in our effects panel and open up presets, we can see what we've just created right at the top. Now, if we trim this adjustment layer down so our third clip has no effects, now if we drag that preset onto our third clip, it applies those effects with the same parameters that we saved. And that's how we work with effects in Premiere Pro. 
hope you've enjoyed this video. We've learned how effects work in Premiere Pro, how to add them to our clips, how to use adjustment layers, and how to save them as presets. Please make sure to check out the rest of this series all about effects in Premiere Pro.